we've arrived in the Turkish city of Samsun. <laughs> One thing Samsun is famous for is the Turkish independence started right here. We're Marianne and Chris. In May 2018, we quit the nine to five, rented our house to travel full time. Due to the pandemic, our attempt to drive around the world has been put on pause. Finding ourselves in Turkey, we are going to show you the best this country has to offer. Ataturk left Istanbul and came on this boat to here, Samson, to meet up with all his compatriots to plan the independence revolution. Revolution. There you go. And it happened way back in 1919. And today we're going to go and have a little look around this wonderful looking boat that you can see behind us. So this wonderful boat called the Van Dierma was originally built as a passenger and cargo vessel back in 1878 in Scotland of all places. So Mustafa Kamel Ataturk and his 18 friends arrived on this boat way back in 1919. So the first room that we have come to, you can imagine back in the day that they're actually having meetings in this room. Gets the imagination going, doesn't it? What a fabulous museum. Um, it's kept alive um, by leaving everything in place in situ so you can imagine how they would have lived and the size of the room. And the bedroom is just beautiful. I think it's safe to say that this was Ataturk's cabin looking at it because it definitely lo looks luxurious and it's the only one up on deck. And there's even a really big old wooden radio that they've got on display here. The city of Samson here on the Black Sea has one of the main cargo ports and you can see out to sea behind me so many cargo ships there moored up waiting to come in probably to collect their cargo probably hazelnuts based on the amount of hazelnuts that we have seen uh, in this region of turkey passageways along the side of the boat here and on the other side that is how the staff the crew would have got through from one end of the ship to the other really really quickly it's tiny it's a really small space but that's how the crew would have moved just to give you a little bit of perspective on where we are parked up for the night Trudy is actually parked here we'll give you a little show round of where we're staying a little bit later on and the city of Samson, you can see up here behind us. Look at this anchor mechanism. What a mighty mountain of mechanicals. Look at this. The chain's going down to the anchors and they would have been pulled up by this. And then the ropes would have been tied off onto these. Chris and I both have family that have either worked on boats or lived on boats. And on a boat there is always an issue with space. Space comes at an absolute premium. So it's funny how they've managed to really pack in everything that is required. It's really well laid out and you can tell where the crew would have stayed. I just love these portholes. They have two doors. One of them is to stop the water coming in and the other one is for to black it out here. So that would have gone there and that would have been secured with these and then tightened. And then these would have dropped down to black out the room. And it would have been protection as well. 
the good old boats are definitely not made for people that are six foot three. I would have backache walking around this boat long term. Okay, we're going below deck. Oh, it goes down quite far. It does. Well, I've got no problem standing up in here. Look how high the ceiling is here. They've got lots of wonderful old pictures here telling some of the history. You can see Ataturk here. And wow, they've got a museum inside. Look at this. So here you've got Ataturk's pistol that they've got on display here. These wonderful pictures, historic newspapers, all the way around the room here. It's really interesting, the boat's history here, we're just looking at it here. And in 1878, it was registered the Trocadero in the UK and Britain. And then in 1883, it um, was still registered uh, the Trocadero in Greece. Um, and then it came and was registered um, as the Bandirma in um, 1894 in Istanbul in Turkey. So this boat, this steamship, um, has actually had three nationalities. So you know us and food and we couldn't resist finding somewhere to come for a spot of lunch because we are absolutely starving and we thought we'd try another style of kebab. So today we are trying Iskender kebab, is that how you say yes. it? Check this out, it looks like donna, it's like donna meat with some bread, some yogurt, chili, we've got a bit of salad. How is it love? I'm going in. Nice. Oh my goodness. What is it, in like tomato sauce or what? It's got like a tomato sauce, but with the yogurt as well. Oh, it's really good. Good job! <laughs> ten out of ten! Woohoo! <laughs> I think this is my favourite kebab. Really? I think it might be. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. Bit of yogurt, bit of meat. Oh my goodness, this is my favourite kebab. Mmm. It's got like a meaty tomato sauce on it. Yeah. Mm. We've also bought this amazing bread, which is called... Lahmaju. There you go. <laughs> oh, it looks really nice. Look how thin that is. Mmm. Spicy, meaty. I think it's, it's a bit different. chilly. It's different. It's different. What's on it? I don't know. The chef has finished work now and he's just going. But it was very good. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much. <laughs> good morning. We've woken up here in Samson and uh, it was a really good spot. The location that we've chosen here is uh, it's a campsite and it's literally like 10 15 minutes walk down into the main city in fact the uh, the ship that we went to see uh, earlier is 10 minutes walk down the road so it's a great location it's actually ba based uh, on a training water sports training facility uh, which I think they used to train the Paralympians if my understanding is correct we had a good night's sleep didn't we? We did. <laughs> um, we always have fans in the van. Um, top tip, if you've got a fan and you're near roads or any kind of like noise, just put the fan on on a low dull. It just creates a bit of noise. Your brain doesn't hear anything else out around the van. And it works really well. We had the fan on low last night, even though we didn't need it. It's actually getting a little bit cooler now. But it's nice because we're right by the water down here 
the uh, the main road this is the main sort of ring road that goes around or goes through Samson we hooked up to the electric just to get everything charged up again and uh, one top tip is to make sure that you bring a little adapter you see this little adapter here uh, because the connections aren't always the standard uh, plug like this one that's how most cables come but you can buy these I think we got this off Amazon or eBay and uh, it's really really handy because in a lot of places in fact most campsites or places we've stopped in Turkey to hook up we wouldn't be able to connect without that little adapter another great advantage about going to campsites and things like that is we can have a shower a long shower because in the van when you wash it's a wash it's not a shower we only have short quick wash showers in uh, the van because we're conserving water but here they've got a really great shower which is exactly where I am going now welcome to the shower so here is a top tip most of the showers have hooks in the shower where the floor gets wet and you want to keep your clothes dry so we have a dry bag here which Marianne's dad gave us and uh, we put our clothes in there while we're having a shower and it keeps it all dry our friends Sam and Andy and their kids uh, they gave us that tip because before we would hang all our clothes and we have a bag that we would hang our shampoo and stuff in so it didn't make sense not to have a bag for our stuff exactly and I, the amount of times that I've actually dropped my clothes on the floor and got them really wet because I'm super clumsy. Yes, you are. It's <laughs> quite a lot. <laughs> okay, anyway, shower time. Good morning. Today we thought we would go and find the famous Samson Pide. Oh, yes. So, well, we've been recommended a restaurant to go and uh, try it. So that's where we're heading now. There is actually a uh, tram line right next to where we're parked that goes down towards where the restaurant is. But it's such a lovely day uh, here that we thought we'd walk. It's about a mile and a half's walk, um, but it's also nice to get some fresh air. And of course there's a pandemic, so it's always good not to take public transport unless you have to. We get so many lovely comments from you guys and uh, lots of suggestions on places to go and see and visit and we love getting all of your suggestions so do keep them coming um, but it's really hard we can't visit all of them and uh, although we've got a long time here in Turkey it's impossible for us to show all of the places and try all of the foods and all of the bits and pieces that you guys uh, recommend to us yeah what i would add is we're trying to give you a flavor and show you our adventure and what we see as tourists here in turkey um, to encourage people to try something new something different uh, not just the famous sites but also just getting out and about and meeting real people in real villages uh, and not just the touristy places. Absolutely. Hence the fact we're walking in Samson to go and eat a nice pide. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, so do bear with us. We are trying to show as many places as we can and uh, we'll continue to do so. Oh, it's a really nice walk down by the sea looking nice with all this sunshine coming down on it and i think we're nearly there we're heading just down here working up an appetite love oh yes but what a beautiful view it's nice isn't it there's something really relaxing and special about the coastline i love it No, 
there you go so if you want to know how far we've walked the campsite we're staying at is just a little bit beyond the ship that we went to look at yesterday so we've walked 3200 meters how are you feeling love <laughs> hot no problem. No problem. <laughs> anyway we've arrived at the cafe which was recommended to us so we're really looking forward to having some pide Right, so we've ordered a couple of things. We've ordered the local um, Samson pide. We've ordered this restaurant's special pide. Okay, so these are the two pides that we've ordered. This one is the famous Samson pide that everybody said we had to try. And this one is their own special one to this restaurant. So I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm very excited, but my favorite pide so far is Gorelle. Controversial. Are any of these <laughs> gonna be better than that pide we had in Gorelle? Yep, I don't think so. I'm gonna give it a go. Oh, it's quite hot. Is it hot? So they're small, individually, they're little small, individually wrapped pieces of pide with the meat in. Nice and warm. Oh, it just smells of pastry and meat. Mm. Mm. They're like mini Gorelli ones, aren't they? The, the filling is not dissimilar to the Gorelli pide, but the Gorelli pide had lots of butter and it was dripping in butter and mm. this one's a lot drier. Although you can see all the butter underneath. So mm. it's, very, it's very buttery. It's very nice. It is very nice. This is really, I love pide. I really love it, it's so delicious. I'm really curious to see what is inside this special pide. Looks like a giant pastry. And uh, let's tear it open and see what's inside. Ooh. Look at that. It's got like some different meats and cheese in this big, soft pide with seeds on top cooked in the oven it's hot gotta give this a go mm. that's really good the time has come for us to leave samson to continue our journey along the Black Sea and today we are heading towards the coastal town of Sinop. Thank you very much. It's funny because there's two guys in the back of the removal truck in front of us and they're finding it very entertaining that the, uh, <laughs> the steering wheel on the van is on the wrong side. <laughs> Gotta love the double parking, hey love? <laughs> love isn't the word I would use. The truck, it just stopped. The truck just stopped. One word of advice if you're driving in Turkey is just allow a little bit more stopping distance because when they want to stop, they just stop. Yeah, they stop for friends to say hi, they stop to buy bread, uh, they stop because they want they, to stop. But they don't pull off the road. No, they just they stop. Just stop. <laughs> in a lane. Just in a lane. Stop. The truck, it just stopped. And uh, when we first arrived, we had a couple of near misses and then learned quickly yeah, just to... Uh... we quickly learned <laughs> that the truck just stops. <laughs> In fact, it's a joke now. The truck just stopped.
it's lovely the roads come back down to the sea and it's looking lovely today it's just beautiful. isn't it it's very tempting we haven't been swimming for a while we need to go swimming soon we got about how long we got we got about 45 minutes to go till Sinop The rock formations here by the side of the road are really, really cool looking. And honestly, this drive is just stunning today along the coast. It's not that common that you see open coastlines like this. Normally when there's beautiful coastlines, they're all built up with buildings and houses and hotels and restaurants. But here it's just a lovely, unspoiled, open coast road. view you can see the little peninsula of Sinop here in the distance that's where we're heading uh, about 20 miles over there coming down baby look there's a jellyfish there's a jellyfish where is it oh wow oh you're still there what are you doing there thanks for watching we hope you've enjoyed this episode if you want to see more of our adventures, then make sure you click the subscribe button below and the bell notification so you don't miss an episode. And we will see you next time. Bye for now.